In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called partition labels. So a string S of lowercase, a lowercase English letter is given. We want to partition this string into as many parts as possible so that each letter appears in at most in one part. So return a list of integers representing the size of these parts. So here you can see we have given a integer input. We want to partition the string into um, um, substrings, as many substrings as possible, where each letter appears um, in at most one part. So you can see we split it here, right? You can see A appears most at this part, B and C as well. D, E, F, G appears mostly at this part, and H, I, J, K, L um, appears, appears mostly at this part. So we partition, we partition the string um, this way. We, we're, uh, if we given this, it's not going to work because um, we can still continue to partition this part. Okay, so what we can do in this case to solve the problem, one way we can do this is we can use a brute force approach and try to um, basically iterate each and every single character and trying to find the last appearance of each character. In this case, the last appearance of A in this case is here. Sorry, here, right? So what we do is for each character, we want to find the last appearance. Um, and if the last appearance of the, the current character that we're on is equal to the current index, then we can partition the string. So what do I mean by that? Well, here you can see we have A. The last appearance is here. B, last appearance is here, right? C, last appearance is here. And in this case, the, the largest, um, the largest la last appearance index is going to be here, right? Because you can see all the characters that are less than this character, all the characters that are before this character, all appears before um, before this character, right? So in this case, so the largest last appearance character, right, index is going to be A. So we're going to partition here. So all we have to do is we just use a brute force approach, and for each character, we're trying to get the um, get the maximum last appearance of this current character. And then if the current character is equal to the maximum last appearance, then we can just um, partition the string, right? So this, this is one way we can do it. But if we were to do this, the, um, the time complexity is going to be big O of n. Sorry, big O of n squared. So it's not the optimal solution. So what we can do instead is we can use two pointers to optimize the time complexity down to linear. So let me show you how. To solve this problem using two, point, two pointers technique, what we're going to do is we're basically first going to iterate the entire given string and then keep track of the last appearance for each and every single character. So in this case, A, last appearance of A is 2, right? Index 2, in this case, 0, 1, 2. Last appearance of B is 1. Last appearance of E is index 5. Last appearance of T is index 4. Okay, What's, uh, once we've done that, we can basically keep we can be able to get the last appearance of each character in constant time, right? Then what we're gonna do is that we, we basically figured out what's the last appearance of this. In this case, the last appearance of this character is two. Then what we're gonna do is we're basically going to uh, move forward. In this case, <clears throat> the maximum, in this case, the, 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 um, the last appearance, the maximum last appearance, I should say, is in this case is equal to two. Then we move with the pointer one to the right. In this case, the last appearance of this character is one. So it's less than the max, then we're just going to continue. In this case, the max appearance of A in this case is 2. And our current current index is 2. 2 is equal to the max. Then we can just partition this string. So it's pretty simple. Um, so let's try to do this in code. So to do this in code, uh, what we're going to do is we can either use a hash table to store the, the uh, last appearance of each character, or we can use an array to store the last appearance of each character. So let me show you how. First, I'm going to use a character array instead of a string. I'm going to convert the string to a character array. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use a integer array to cache the result, to cache the last appearance of each character. So in this case, we have a we initialize a, a integer array and we call we give it a size of 128. Um, that's going to be the total of the um, ASCII code, right? Total characters of ASCII code. And then what we're going to do is we're going to iterate. So for integer i is equal to zero, i is less than array.length. 
what we're going to do is we're basically going to um, first get the current character, which is array i. And then what we're going to do is for cache at character, right, for that specific index, uh, we're going to assign the current index of the string onto the current uh, of that character in the array, right? So at the end, when we iterate, we're going to get the last appearance of each and every single character. Then what we're going to do is, based on the data that we have here, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a left pointer basically points to where the partition starts, and we're going to have a right pointer points to where the partition ends. And we're going to have an index that traversing that just iterates each and every single character. And every single iteration we're going to redefine, we may or may not redefine our maximum, um, yeah, maximum um, last appearance of the current character, right? So in this case, we're going to have a left pointer starts at zero. The right pointer also starts at zero. And we also have an index that basically um, traversing the, um, the, the string, right? So we're going to say while index is less than the, um, the length of the array, right? So in this case, array the length. What we're going to do first is we're going to get a current character. So current character is equal to array at index, right? And what we're going to do with it is that we're going to, we're going to find the last appearance of that character. So what we're going to say is this, um, in this case, the, the right pointer, right, is equal to the last appearance. So it's equal to the, is the mass, maximum, either the current maximum appearance, right, current maximum appearance of the, uh, of the, uh, of the character so far, um, or the maximum appearance of cache at, um, at the current character, in this case, the last, the last appearance of the current character, or the, the last, the, the, the largest, last appearance of the character so far, the characters that we have been traversing so far, right? And then what we're going to do is that if the right pointer, right, if the right pointer is equal to the current index, then we know that we're on the last appearance, uh, we're, we're, we're on the last appearance of the characters that we're traversing so far. So what we can do is we can partition the string. So what we're going to do then is we're just going to create a array um, sorry, my, my bad. Uh, we're going to create a list integer and uh, we're going to call it result. We're going to use link list because we don't know how many items we're going to insert into the list. So what we're going to do is we're going to create, we're going to define the size, right? In this case, the size is equal to right minus left plus one. The reason why we do plus one here is because it is zero based right, the, the array is zero based. We just have the plus one, you can see it's nine. And here to here is gonna be nine characters, right? So one, two, th um, my bad, this one right here. So in this case, we have nine characters, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is the eighth index, this is zero index. Um, eight minus zero is eight, so we have the plus one to give us this real size, right? In this case, nine. <clears throat> Then what we're going to do is we're going to add it to the, the result. So they'll add um, the size to the result. Then what we're going to do is we're going to basically get the right pointer, right? Right pointer is going to increment by one. We're going to move on to the nest, um, <clears throat> nest partition, uh, so the nest string, right? In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to get left is equal to right. So that we can have left and the right both start at the same position. Then we're going to worry about our index. We're going to get our index increment by one for each and every single iteration. So at the end, we're just going to return the result. Now, if we were to run the code, um, let's see. Okay, let's try to submit. Now here you can see we have our success. So basically, this is how we bring the time complexity down um, into a linear time complexity. And the space complexity in this case is going to be big of one. And because we have only 20, 128 um, size for the uh, for total characters in the ha ha um, ASCII table. So this is it for this video. And thank you for watching.